What's going on? Welcome back to another All Pro Football Editor tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the Brute Force PS3 uh, software that you need in order to use PS3 game saves with the new All Pro Football Editor. So the new All Pro Football Editor uses, obviously, PS3 files where the old one really didn't. So with that, you're going to be able to take PS3 game saves and use them on the, uh, the new editor. So I'm going to show you exactly how this is from point A to point Z. And I, um, I haven't been able to find anything great online. So I figured I would do a pretty you know, thorough tutorial. It won't be too long, hopefully. But I'm going to go through step by step and show you exactly how to do this for anybody who is new to APF, E, APF, and modding, and PS3. So here we go. First thing that you're going to need is a USB stick. And once you load that in, if you go under the game menu in PS3 and you go to saved data utility, you're going to see it inside of there when you click A. This one is empty right now. There's no data. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the all pro football editor and i'm going to walk you through how to create um, a game save and we're just going to do a roster file for now and i'm going to show you how you decrypt that file how you encrypt that file and how you ch make changes and get it back into the ps3 i'm also going to show you how to download where to download and how to install the brute force and configure the brute force software so you can uh, easily transfer files between your ps3 and your uh, pc and all pro football uh, so here we go so this is actually a roster that was on the hard drive already actually so um, but for those of you who don't know how to create a team just go into create team i auto select because i'm just trying to get through it but you essentially pick your players and pick whatever team you want and there you go. So now we have two teams on this file because there was already one there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down to options, load, save, save roster, and we will, I guess it lets you do more than one save. We'll just go ahead and overwrite the one we have. And this is going to save onto your PS3 console, not your USB. You need to go all the way back by pushing the middle button, go back to the menu, quit the game. And you're going to go to your USB in the same menu we were at before under the game menu. And don't sweat the Buffalo Bills uh, background, just saying. And uh, we're going to go to the save data utility. Actually, we're going to go to the all pro foot. No, sorry. Save data utility. Then we're going to go down in the file. These are all the hard drive files. This is your USB. This is cloud. We don't touch cloud. Um, this is the roster. Hit triangle. Hit copy. Go to USB device. And there you go. Copy's over. So from here, we're going to take it back to the PS um, or the PC. And now it's on the USB. Pull out of the USB and bring it over to the PC. All right, so now we're back to the PC and we're gonna go ahead and load this USB onto the PC here. And this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get your USB drive and it's gonna have your PS3 folder here, save data, and this is the roster file, okay? The folder actually has the ROS extension that you would normally see on the Xbox 360 and the FXG. So you know that you have a roster or you have a season file based on the folder name. Okay, actually not even on the PC. Here we go, now we're on the PC. So you're gonna go into USB, PS3, uh, save data. And here's the folder I was just talking about called ROS. If it was a season file, like I mentioned, it would be FXG, okay? So what you're going to want to do before you even mess with this, what you're going to want to do is load up the brute force software. Okay. All right. So these two, 
files here, folders, are going to be in the description of this video. So you can access it from there. And this is the brute force save data software. And this is the PS3 tools software. We're going to be installing both of those right now from scratch. So you can see how this works. The first thing you're going to want to do is install this msvbvn50.exe file. Okay. Um, I'm not going to install it because I already have it on my machine. And so I'll click no there, but you're going to click yes. And you're going to install that. Once that's installed, then you're going to go to the brute force installer and run the installer and, uh, and install it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a different directory. You can pick whichever one you want. I'll just put it on my desktop and then, um, and we'll save it to the desktop. I don't think I have another one saved there with that name. Okay, there we go. So it's installing. Okay, so now we have the brute force. We're not going to run it yet. Hit finish. Now we're going to install the um, the PS3 tools exe. So I'm going to put it in the same exact spot just so we have it right next to each other here. And let's change this to PS3 tools and it should save it. It might have already, it might have saved it inside of here. Yeah, it did. So it's right here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and move that to the desktop and there we go. So what just happened here? Hold on. Tools. PS3 tools. I think I did more than I wanted to, but don't worry. It's fine. Um, I might've just saved over something here, but it doesn't matter. For this video, you really need to worry about two things. The PS3 tools and the uh and the brute force save data okay so let's close all these out so if you go to the ps3 tools you're going to see this ps3 tools menu okay you're going to want to open that and you can go ahead and move that away and then we're going to go ahead and open the brute force save data.exe Okay, so we're looking at the, this is the first screen that you're going to see when you first open up the brute force software. And this is basically a cheats repository. You really don't even need to do anything here. You can download or you can just click X and it'll go away. Um, this is, this right here is where you have your global settings, which we're going to get to in just a second. Okay, so for right now, we're going to close that. And it's going to ask you if you want to set up your profile now. Just hit no. Um, and then this is going to change. This is a different directory that I have. But we're going to go ahead and change this directory to the new one that we just installed. And this should be it. And that's going to have all of our saves. So if we go into brute force where we had the actual... Um, install and you go to save this is where we're going to drop our save so we're going to go ahead and do that now so the usb file that we just had this roster file we're going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into our saves folder um and i'm also going to show you while we're here i'm going to also show you another file that i have that is a different profile ID. So you can see how to actually take someone else's roster and make it your own, uh, your own profile. So you can use it on your PS3, okay? But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the PS3 tools, okay? And you're gonna click on the Param SFO editor, okay? And from here, you're gonna get this screen right here. 
okay and this is going to basically pull your profile ID and your console ID from the save that we just did on the PS3. So you open and you go to the save that we have. So we just saved it in this folder. Uh, and then you're going to go to the param.sfo file. Okay, this is where your information is stored. So you open that. And now you're going to have the IDs that you need to copy over into brute force. Okay. So now we have the brute force software on the left. What you're going to want to do is right click on this empty space here. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to global settings. And here's where you're actually going to set your profile up from your console. Remember this file here is the one we just got from our PS3. You want to make sure it's from your PS3. Okay. You're going to do the drop down. You're going to go to user ID. You're going to take this user ID. You're going to copy it. You're going to go inside of the global editor in brute force. You're going to paste your user ID. Next thing you're going to do is go to your PlayStation ID, PS ID. You're going to copy this value here. And you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Paste it into your console ID. And you're going to hit close. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is refresh so now you're going to see the files we can go ahead and get rid of this no open so you're going to see the two files that we have you can use look at them you can see them as icons with this icon button or as file directories i like this because you get to see a lot more information okay and what you're going to want to do the first thing is is um so we have our profile set, right? So you, but you want, you want to make sure that you configure that profile to always be used from now on, because that's the one you want for your PS3, right? So you go down to set profile, configure profiles, set profile for number one. Okay. Set param SFO for profile one. Now you're going to open up the same exact save that you just had open that you saved in the folder. You're going to go to param.sfo. You're going to hit open. Make sure you follow this to a T or you're going to get it wrong here. Everything that we do, you can rewind. You can, you know, look at the video again, but everything has to be done, not in this order, but pretty much in this order for you to be successful. Okay. What I do is I name this profile as the same one as my profile on the PS3. It's actually Havo 007 on PS3. And now... You can see that it's up here. It's the active profile. You can see it's checked here as the active profile. And if you see the other file that came from basically the internet, all I need to do is click on it. And if I right click, this is the file here. If I right click on it, okay, um, There's a way to set your ID to it, but what we need to do first before we do that is we need to get the key for this game, okay? So every game has its own unique key and that key is what's used to rehash and resign the file. So in this case, we don't know what it is, but we're gonna go ahead and right click and go brute force, which will find the key for us, hopefully, and it will, because I know it will, because I've done it, but some games it won't find it. Um, so you're going to go to brute force, you're going to right click F6, or you can just do brute force. And now it's going to find the key. Okay. So now every other file, if you refresh, it knows now how to identify an all pro football game save, whether it be a roster or a season file or anything. Now it has the key and now it can rehash and decrypt and encrypt it. Okay. And, um, this file here was the one that we got online. If I rebuild it with the current profile, it's going to go ahead and now be used, um, stamp my profile so I can use it, right? So if you get a roster from somebody online and you want it to work on your PS3, you need to load it into brute force and you basically need to right click on it and rebuild with your current profile, which is the one typically the one you set here from your PS3 like we just did. Okay. But we're going to go ahead and focus on the one that we just created. Okay. We created the goats, I believe. And, um, 
We had two teams on there, and we're going to go ahead and open that in All Pro Football. Okay, but first we have to click on it, decrypt all files. Okay, and it's going to decrypt the file. You're going to notice it's decrypted because it has the word decrypted here, and this is also in green. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and minimize this because right now we're decrypted. So if we go to our folder, we go to our saves and the roster file you're going to see this new file here called files decrypted and what it does is it decrypts which is basically allows us to finally read it um, in the editor which is what we want so now we're going to open the editor and we're going to browse to that folder and we're going to open the user data file Okay, it's going to ask us if we want to rebuild because it's a brand new file. We're just going to say no. And we want to change, let's pick a team, the Cyclones. Let's just take OJ. And let's edit OJ's name to OJ Sharp. Okay, OJ Sharp. And then let's save it and don't worry about that save complete so now we've saved it okay so the actual roster saved the game makes a backup which we're going to go ahead and just get rid of for now and now the file's saved we've done our editing we've decrypted it and when you decrypt it you can do any editing you want and then now we have to basically encrypt this whole entire folder again so we're going to go back to brute force okay and we're going to, you can right click it or you can click down here encrypt. I'm going to go ahead and just do encrypt all files. Yes. And now it's encrypted. If you select the file and you, you do verify PFD, okay. What that does is that checks to make sure the file is intact and everything's okay. So now we're encrypted. We're good. Everything's good to go. We can go back to the PS3 now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take the USB drive that's somewhere around here. And we're going to open up the saves folder that we had. And we're basically going to copy and paste. I'll just control C, control V, paste over. And now the file's there. And now we're going to go back to the PS3. And I'm going to show you how this looks inside of the PS3. And if you look, we have that roster file, file still. We're going to need to copy this over to our desktop. I mean, our not desktop, our PS3 hard drive, basically. So now it's in our hard drive. And we're going to go ahead and start the game up and see if our edits were made. So we changed OJ Simpson to OJ Sharp. So I'm going to leave, like I said, I'm going to leave these links to download the brute force file and the ps3 tools in the description if you have any questions if you guys need any help or anything like that just put the your questions in the comments here and um, i'll try to get to them when i can but it's a very simple process once you understand and that's why i wanted to go through it step by step so you guys can fully understand how this works where to get everything at in one place and get these things working for you. So now if we go to teams, we go to view rosters, we go to cyclones, we're going to see OJ Sharp right there, right in front of us. So it works. So we're able to load our roster, load a game save, and we have no issues and it's working. But you have to have the brute force software and you need to do exactly what I showed you in order to make it work. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Get yourself all pro football. If you don't have it, it's the best game on the field. And uh, happy uh, roster making. And I'll see you next time. Peace.